So, Mrs. Chandler, tell me what's on your mind. Well, Doc, on our Earth in Dimension 1218, I am very well known and famous for my creativity and my science you comic books. And I have many fans and followers, amongst which in the fan base, they're trollish haters and harassers. More recently, though, they have been targeting and harassing the brony analysts that I like, including the creators of Lightning Bliss, Bad Munchkin, Firebrand, Eliara, Kichi, and a few others. <sighs> Thank goodness your creator is not on Twitter, Dr. Wolf. Too much drama! And those particular analysts blocked me on Twitter. I seriously felt and still feel rejected. As if being verbally pushed away by no whacking at BronyCon last year hadn't scarred me horribly enough. Oof. My head. Meanwhile, I've had to commute to here, Dimension C197, via astral projection, sending myself, the whole soul, to do all the work that I've been doing with everyone and by myself and so forth. Mm. And I'm either in my human or my science form, and I'll typically end up going CPU. Access. Uh, the tough part is having to leave my body behind in 1218. Ah! Oh, but very soon I shall finally, finally be able to bring my spot here to C197. Anyhow, I had to be here in C197 and around Quickville. And after Maddie's creator blocked us, my body's mind, still very much functional and reasonably intelligent, but not as much as I, and yet more so prone to the autism and mentally retarded effects, and it gets very emotional. <coughs> Oh, really? Could not take the blocking anymore! After years of being bullied, deceived, harassed, and blackmailed, uh, not to mention being banned from a few places, too. <sighs> not to mention, recently, the psychiatrist at Region 10 Maybe recall that time in the fourth grade when the teachers, the aide, the teacher's aide, aide's counselor, and the principal held me in down on the floor while on you teach me my screams and cries of anguish. <laughs> So anyway, I lashed out in tantrums on Twitter. Uh, this Stonewall Jackson, who endured and grew up from all of the experiences for well over a decade, crumbled and fell. Yep, that brain was in such a horrible state and mess after all that. It seriously made my old bedroom after the house fire 2014 look clean and organized in comparison. And gee whiz, after the firefighters took the yachts to my bedroom, that was really a mess. So, my brain was in worse shape. So, I had pleaded to them all to unblock me, but to no avail. I had thought the trolling haters and harassers were at fault for the reason of their blocking me. But, it turns out, as I have been told by a valid source, they blocked me due to my past 
and not wanting to be sucked into the drama of my life. And apparently my obsessive behaviors too. I have a touch of OCD from the autism. Some of those analysts have OCD too. In fact, they all have the same fame and air that troll bully problems as I do. I've been online longer than all of them. I have endured and suffered more than all of them together. I was a pioneer in all of this. I could be helped them all cope with support and kindness. And I did try to do that for them. And now they all block me and close me out. It makes me feel like I'm falling into another depression again. I feel like I want to just scream so much. I'm pretty much verging on becoming suicidal. Hell, that's not good at all. That's really not good at all. Oh my, that is quite a troublesome conundrum. I recall the great number of my past patients who had each suffered only a portion of everything you alone had endured. And I agree that you and all those particular analysts could be great teachers to each other in a support group. But from their similar perspectives of you, judgmental and possibly cynical as they are, knowing and aware of the past, as well as the various types of followers you have, it is discernible that they would not want to end up following into the drama. The haters and harassers keep on targeting and torturing everyone with. It becomes quite difficult to simply block out their relentless attacks, especially when they are formidable and able to rebound quick in a flash. Also, how not only wrong it is to close out the greater target, those individuals continue to follow an attack who was originally only a victim of circumstances, that does not stop those individuals from continuing to target and attack the blockers. And yet those people remain offended of the misactions made of you in the past. They have more than enough of their own troubles in their hands, mind, soul, and body to be able to cope or care about others' problems. Or they simply do not or care to Empathize, sympathize, or understand you and that you have learned from your past mistakes and how to endure or close out the bullies and their torture that you have attempted time and again to show kindness and support to and for everyone else who had gone through the similar trials and torture as you. You have a very strong soul, heart, and senses for kindness, positivity, and justice. It is a major crime for anyone to close you out because you are plenty capable of becoming a really good ally or friend for most anyone. Ah, this tea is really good. Passion fruit for taste with some mint and chamomile for keeping the mind and soul calm as possible. When evaluating someone, one should always widen their perspectives and take in many factors into account and consider the other individual's perspective. All these remaining in a subjective point of view is rather very selfish indeed. Although, Christine, the analysts may see you as only one fan out of thousands of others, I see you more as a peer of theirs, as you have created more than tons of what they call content in your comic books. Does all this make sense with you? Fairly more or less. I do, to the best of my abilities, take others' perspectives and feelings into account, but I'm not always able to. I, the soul. I am able to remain fluid in processing thought and speech, but to have to work with and around the brain in this body, my process can easily get interrupted. It is often prone to the autism, 
It can even fall into becoming seriously retarded, especially when it feels overloaded, overworked, very sad, angry, or upset, and so forth. It shuts off and leaves me disabled. If anything ought to be known about me by others when evaluating me, it's the stability and fragility of this body's brain. <sighs> but I digress. I have learned from my past mistakes. I'm still learning and processing everything as they come. But in the recent events, everyone keeps telling me to move on. These analyses aren't worth your time. Or something similar to that line. But... I simply cannot. With my background, I can tell I have a real difficult time not being liked by anyone. And famous people, including the an analyst, do not cope well with being not liked by others either. And when one also considers the adage, treat others how you like to be treated, I feel like if I stop my efforts to show the analysts that I am normally likable and cool to talk with and simply make them stop not liking me, they will feel not liked by me. And they will feel at least a little bit saddened by that. As well as the torture knowing or thinking I didn't like any of them, and my not liking them becomes virally popular by the haters and the harassers all over the world. It would put an end to their popularity, egos, and especially their emotions, feelings, and subconsciousness. And I can empathize with that. It would just be like a whole major end to them. It would just be so horrific and terrible. I would not be able to get over that. I would not be able to, just because I did all that. It's my fault, my fault. Now let it continue on, not just because of my mentality and sake, but for theirs as well. I mean, shoot. Everybody hating everybody else is just a horrible, horrible wrong thing to do in this world. If they think I'm not liking them, and everybody else not liking them, and they go, they go down. It's my fault. It's just... So, it remains a quest for me to undo the chaos and get in the analysis all to unblock and like me. I mean, we don't have to be friends, but at the very least, in the once in a while moments, I really would delight in sharing the kind and or supportive thoughts, comments, or response to something that is going on with them and not be misconstrued as saying anything offensive or creepy because I hardly ever am offensive or creepy. Do you all hear me out there in Dimension 1218's Earth? I am usually kind, supportive, and sincere. Never, ever, ever, ever misconstrued me again, please. Because of how much I have been greatly misunderstood, misinterpreted, misconstrued over the years, it just makes me feel so upset and crestfallen. <sighs> Indeed, your heart and soul continues to be in the right places with lots of great care and effort. 
I do know how it feels to have misunderstood efforts weighed heavily against you. <sighs> there are such narcissists out there who want to add unrequited drama to any simple, mundane, kind task of others. If only there were not such bad individuals. <sighs> this discussion has been quite enlightening. Unfortunately, our time is up for now. I would love to discuss this more with you. Shall we continue on this next week? Yes, Doctor. I feel so much merit being listened to. I fully understood. You really are great for what you are. Thank you for listening. My pleasure, Miss Chandler. It's good to be helping. <laughs>